What's going on, Jam Fam? So the update just dropped the other day, and with it, we got the brand new game mode, Hunters. It's basically Wipeout for Solo Showdown. You guys all know the gist by now. But in my last video, I said that I didn't think the community is gonna well receive this game. I thought the game modes are gonna be way too fast paced because the number of kills is way too low for like a showdown context. And sure enough, over here on the Reddit, that there is a post basically with 133 upvotes that's saying that anybody else finding the game mode frustrating, basically this post, this uh, Redditor is posting that the game modes are really quick, pay really fast paced. They haven't had a single game go up to the full three minutes, that the, the meta is pretty uh, narrow right here. Basically, if a brawler doesn't have long range or is able to defend themselves at close range or has a lot of burst damage, they're basically unplayable in the mode unless you're really lucky. And then this, this paragraph right here is just them basically breaking down that long fights are really not beneficial to you as a player and that it's if you can't get a kill within like 10 seconds you bet you're better off just moving on um and that basically a lot of these these issues can be resolved with longer game modes so i thought it'd be fun to take a look at this post talk about what people are finding frustrating what people actually enjoy in the mode and see if there's any changes that brawl stars could make to make the mode a little bit better but before we get too far into it, make sure you let me know what you think about Hunters. Let me know if you like it, what you dislike about it, whatever. I haven't personally actually played it because I just don't like solo modes, so I just haven't touched it. But yeah, if you uh, have played Hunters, let me know what you think about it. And if you're new and you enjoy my rambling, make sure you leave a like on the video and consider dropping a sub as well. All right, let's jump into this. All right, so the first one I want to break down real quick is this guy right here, this impossible orange guy. Um, basically, he says that... Um, no one's really talking about how bad the six kill design is and that basically right down here It kind of feels like if you don't come in first place It kind of feels random about where you end up landing because it's not very clear about what the tiebreaker is If you and three other people have two kills what that actual tiebreaker is um, and then basically um, if you get one kill, it catapults you from like fourth place all the way up to like second place or something like that. So he's not really enjoying that design of the mode, but he does feel like kill stealing is less of a problem. I thought kill stealing was going to be a big problem in this mode. Same thing with Lone Star, but apparently he feels like it's not quite as bad. So overall, this guy doesn't sound too frustrated with the game mode, but there just seems to be a couple inconsistencies about like tiebreakers and like placement and stuff like that, that he's not too much of a fan of. All right, so this guy, too slow for me, he says he does find the mode frustrating, but he does find it way more fun than Showdown. He says that players are tending to be a little bit more aggressive and they don't just hide until the end of the match. Um, so he does have to credit it for not being like super slow paced like Showdown tends to be. Like You know how like teaming is a big problem in Showdown that people basically don't fight until the smoke closes in on them. So he's not, obviously that's not a problem in this mode because there's no smoke and it actually incentivizes killing. So I can see where he's coming from with that. However, this guy right here, this wild employee, he says he does like that it is more rewarding than showdown because passive play isn't rewarded in this mode, but he does find it really frustrating that if you get five kills, which is one kill away from actually ending the game, you can end up in eighth place and it feels very random. So kind of reiterating what that first poster was saying that basically it doesn't matter how well you do. If you don't come in first, you don't really know where you're going to end up. So I guess that is very frustrating and it's not really uh, fun to play, I would say. All right, so this accomplished cherry is actually suggesting some changes. Now, I don't fully agree with a lot of these changes because it kind of fundamentally changes the game. First off, he wants to make the tiebreaker damage dealt instead of it just kind of being random. That way, it's not so frustrating when you get five kills with four other people. Um, obviously, like I said, I haven't played the mode, but according to all these sweaty Redditors, it seems to be random no matter how many kills you get. So um, I can totally understand why he would want to make damage dealt. It seems to be a pretty good metric that can be tracked. He also wants to increase the start healing time from three to five seconds, but make it so you heal faster. I don't think they're going to change that because obviously that changes the fundamental way the game is being played. So I don't think that's really a viable option to change it. Same thing with this option right down here to increase reload times of all brawlers. Really, that just kills the brawlers that have long reload speeds who are already struggling in the mode. Something like Piper or like Eve or something like that. And that's because, you know, brawlers with faster reload speeds and more burst damage are going to be favored in this mode. Like the original post, like the OP was, was saying in this. I do kind of like this idea where the map shrinks every 30 seconds that way it forces people into fights instead of them just you know doing a couple pot shots and running away to charge their super or whatever and then also it would cause the match to be a little more snowbally so that once you get one kill you can kind of just steamroll people especially if you're playing a brawler like el primo or something like that so I kind of like that idea right there. That seems to be like a better way of like adjusting the mode. And then I don't really know about this one where you have to win by two, but the duration of the match is cut in half. Winning by two seems to be not really like an, an issue. Maybe, maybe it is because maybe, you know, you have five kills. So the person that gets six doesn't have to win, but it also makes it seem like, um, like frustrating because it's kind of hard to explain that rule while you're in game. So people may not know. So, um, I don't think this is a bad idea, but it just seems, it seems a little weird to me. Bro, this guy said bot drop is the worst mode ever. I just backed up his post. What the hell, man? What the hell, wild employee? Yikes. Man, why are people so toxic? Like, 
I don't think they're trash devs. I think that they've been dropping the ball a little bit lately, but I don't think they, I, mean, I think they mean well. I mean, you can't really dunk on people for trying something new in the game. So this person saying that initially Big Mode needed 10 kills and then they changed it to six to make it more fast paced. I think that Danny had just misspoken because they did flare the little like asterisk six kills when he said 10 kills in Brawl Talk. So I think it was just a confusion because you know they're kind of copying the wipeout rules and wipeout was moved to 10 kills so um i do agree that six kills seems to be too low for a lobby with 10 players so i would love to see them bump up the number of kills to 10 that way it kind of evens out so everybody has like one life essentially but you know that's just my opinion i think that's what they should change personally this guy right here saying that there's some good points but it's a very unbalanced mode nonetheless he's really enjoying it good for him really glad that he's enjoying a new mode and then this guy saying fair criticisms but it's better than the showdown setting the bar really low there showdown's a terrible mode this guy saying his main problem is just matchmaking getting matched with in a lobby with low players and high players at the exact same time it's kind of a waste of time and he's willing to overlook some of the flaws of the sil of a solo game mode um matchmaking is always going to frustrate people i don't think there's ever going to be a good way to match good randoms with with you all the time just by nature randoms are just going to be bad so i mean like while matchmaking is frustrating there's really nothing they can do about that but he does agree that the mode is very has a very defined meta and that you're really not going to play ranged brawlers because they're at such a disadvantage so that kind of sucks a lot of modes that have really rigid metas are not a lot of fun especially if you don't like the brawlers that fit into that meta so um a lot of people are going to be put off from that just alone but yeah, that's all the replies that really stuck out to me. Seems like the two major issues are that the matches are too quick. So basically, that's an easy fix. They just need to bump up the number of kills from like six to like 10. I personally think 10 would be a good number, but I don't know about you guys. Um, what you guys think would be a good number for kills in that match. And then the other issue is that the meta is just way too rigid. Basically that only like tanks and assassins are really good in the mode and that if you can't get a kill quickly with a brawler, then they're really not good in the mode. So I really don't know what they could do about that. Maybe trying different maps will fix that. But the problem is that it's kind of baked into the core philosophy of the game about getting kills as quickly as possible, trying to get that number one spot before everyone else can rush to it. So um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you enjoyed this type of video. Maybe we'll do them more often, but that's going to do it for me. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.